students today i will tell you about je main and neat exam in 2014 on national level there will be only one exam for engineering and architecture that exam is je main now to get admission for engineering 50% weightage will be given to marks scored in hsc now for je main there will be two papers a student can appear for either of the two or both the papers now paper 1 is to get admission in engineering again paper 1 is an eligibility test for je advance all students cannot appear for je advance if you score marks above cut off marks or equal to cut off marks then only you can appear for je advance and that is why je main paper 1 is very important many students think that if they score less marks if they are not eligible for je advance they don't get admission for engineering that is not true remember je main paper 1 is an eligibility test for je advanced so if you score less marks in je main paper 1 the only thing is you won't be able to apply or appear for je advance now je main paper 1 that exam is conducted in two different ways the first one is paper pencil test and the second is online that is computer based test paper 2 i am saying je main paper 2 will be given by the students who want to do architecture paper 2 will be conducted with the help of pencil and uh, paper that's it now in je main paper 1 three subjects will be there physics chemistry and mathematics the same weightage will be given to all the three subjects and same number of mcqs will be asked now what about je main paper 2 which is given by students who want to do architecture in part 1 mathematics is there in part 2 aptitude will be uh, judged and in part 3 drawing test will be there for the first two parts mcqs will be there and for the third part no mcqs will be there that is for drawing part students should note that for je main the syllabus is for 11th as well as for 12th so the topics which we have already done in 11th standard you have to prepare those topics again for je main in mathematics there are 16 units as i said that the syllabus comprises of syllabus for 11th standard and 12th standard 50% of the units are from 11th standard syllabus for example sets relations and functions permutations and combinations so i will advise 11th standard students to prepare these topics thoroughly in 11th standard only now in physics there are two sections in section 1 there are 20 units and the weightage is 80% in section b practical component that is experimental skills will be taken into consideration and for that the weightage is 20% note that the experiments which you will be performing in 11th and 12th standard carry weightage for this 20% part note that number of units in physics and maths is comparatively less but the syllabus for chemistry is vast of course many uh, units are there in 11th standard syllabus as i said that in chemistry the number of units is more so there are three sections in section a physical chemistry is there there are 10 units section b is for inorganic chemistry there are 8 units in all section c is on organic chemistry and there are 10 units in the last unit experimental skills and activities are given paper 1 will be for 3 hours there will be three parts of the question paper physics chemistry and mathematics each mcq multiple choice question will carry four marks 
if your answer is wrong you will lose one mark that is one fourth negative marking is there but if you do not attempt an MCQ you will not lose a mark of course you will not get a single mark out of four only one option will be the correct in 2013 exam there were in all 90 multiple choice questions 30 were on physics 30 mcqs were on chemistry and 30 mcqs were on mathematics that is the total marks were 360 19 to 4 that is 360 what was the duration for the exam the duration was three hours that is 180 minutes this means for each question there were only two minutes i am saying on an average there were only two minutes for one mcq note that use of calculator and log tables is not allowed in j main exam for rough work you will be given pages in exam hall which you will have to return after the exam is over for j main paper 2 again the duration is 3 hours if you want more information about j main paper 2 you can visit the website www.jemain.nic.in on this website information regarding that paper is given dear friends now i will tell you about the neat exam or in maharashtra the exam is mhcet but the syllabus for mhcet is the same as that for neat so this is applicable for all the students so i will use the words medical entrance so for medical entrance there will be only one paper for the duration of that paper will be three hours there will be 45 mcqs on physics 45 mcqs on chemistry and 90 mcqs will be on which subject biology of course out of 90 45 will be on zoo and 45 will be on botany right so in all 180 mcqs each mcq will be asked for four marks so the total will be 720 now for in this exam also there is negative marking if your one mcq is wrong you will get minus one for that but if you haven't attempted that particular mcq you will not gain a mark again you will not lose a mark in this case also out of four only one multiple uh, rather only one option will be the correct one note that the duration is three hours number of mcqs is 180 this means on an average on an average you will get one minute now many students ask me sir for je we get two minutes but for neat or medical entrance we get only one minute why this is so the logic is the degree of difficulty for physics and chemistry for neat exam is comparatively less because for je more application oriented questions are asked in physics and chemistry again for biology comparatively you require less time you can attempt one mcq in say 40 to 50 seconds so if you solve seven to eight papers on full syllabus i'm confident you will be able to complete 180 mcqs in 180 minutes that is three hours i wish you all the best for the medical entrance as well as for j thank you